All right, everybody, you've asked for it, and here it is. This is the unveiling of my new classroom, my space, my office, whatever it is that you want to call this, but I'm super excited to share this with you. This is where the work of adampetersoneducation.com and Teachers Learn 2 and my books and the podcast and everything is gonna happen, so, so let me show you around. This is my new desk. Uh, not a new desk, old desk. Not using it quite yet because all I have is a stool and I don't have a desk chair. Look. ESGI pencil. We'll talk more about them in a few episodes. I got this fancy little pencil holder right here from uh, Marshalls with all these little jars that are gonna go in there. There's one of my favorite quotes in the whole world. Here's my globe. I've always wanted a little globe that's black and I got that for like 12 bucks at a thrift shop. We are in my basement. That's where this office is. That's the reason for the air hockey table, the shuffleboard, my guitars, my music stuff, our organ. My office is, is in our basement. So thank you, Trisha, for letting me turn this into an office because this used to be our uh, basement living room, which is now over there. One of the key things that I had to have here was a space to relax. This was Trisha's in her dorm room, like when we met, one of these Papa's on chairs, but it's it's super comfy. Like I can take naps here anytime I want during the day, which I won't be doing, Trisha, because I'm gonna be working. We've got my record player. And then this back here, this I'm super excited that this hangs in my office because it's inspiration uh, for anything that I wanna do. This is a huge piece of artwork that was gifted to me from my grandpa. Thank you, grandpa and, and Nanny Lois. Um, my grandpa was in the Navy and he was on this ship called the USS Millet. And then my grandma and grandpa hosted all the reunions for their shipmates. One of his shipmates drew that by hand with pencil and like charcoal and whatnot. But that's, that's my grandpa's ship. How cool is that? This is where all the work is gonna happen. So behind me, this is gonna show up in a lot of episodes. We'll talk about this soon. This is called a ProWise. It's from my friends at Kaplan, and that's going to be a whole episode in itself explaining to you exactly what that does. It's, it's amazing, and, and I'll share that with you soon. My table desk we'll get to soon. I've got my, my speaker set up because this is where we're recording some things, and I just have to music play on time. My light box uh, that was in my classroom is going to be down here. Today is the best day ever. Every day is the best day ever, and I want that to be a reminder. I just need to get a little dongle to hook that up. Now in a couple of the videos that I've done for social media and live stuff for SDE, you've seen this wall and I want to kind of explain this wall because there's a lot of cool inspirational and motivational and special things hanging on this wall that I want to talk to you about real quick. So let's go through piece by piece. The best day ever flag. This came from my buddy Quinn from last year. Thank you Quinn. There it is. Best day ever every day. Next, my friend Xander used to like to make me these little things. He's in second grade now in Trisha's classroom. Hi, buddy. Uh, I had to hang these up, and there's more on my table that I'll show you. He made these me these cool little Dr. Seuss things out of wood. I absolutely love them. This piece of art came from a student at the Ron Clark Academy when we were there visiting. They did a fundraiser and a art drive where you could purchase things to help send them on a mission trip, and, and I bought that. And the girl Kyra signed it for me, and I had to. I just had to keep it up because it's cool artwork designed by a junior high student. This is from my kids and Trisha for Father's Day, a day with dad, best day ever. You kind of get the theme here, that, that every day in my life is the best day ever. I like to think that way. I'm trying to be positive. I don't know. My friend Kayla gave me this. Uh, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. Kayla or my friend Grady, one of them, their mom made that for me and, and I absolutely love it. So it's something I try to live by. I don't want to grow up. And and yeah, if you know me, you know that's true. This one, super special, super important and meaningful to me. My mom made me this when I graduated college. A hundred years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the sort of house I lived in, or the kind of car I drove, but the world may be a different place, may be different because I was important in the life of a child. I love that quote and thank you mom for making that. That Look right there. That's my mom. She made that in 2004. That thing's 14 years old. That's crazy, but it's hanging there for good. This one, I don't think we really need to say much about it. We're just gonna leave it right there. Thank you Walmart and the Crumb family for nominating me. My friend Vince that I taught with for all 13 years that I taught at the school I taught it made me this once a hawk always a hawk and it's got our school fight song on there. So thank you Vince. I told you it would be in my office. And, and there it is. We're gonna come back to the map. We'll get back to the map in a minute. This one my friend Kellen gave me. Don't cry because it's over smile because it happened. One of my favorite Dr. Seuss quotes, so thank you Kellen. My friend Jet and his family gave me this. Jet and Maya and Jen and Ben, thank you. Positive mind, positive vibe, positive life. That's how I'm taking this whole new journey on. This is, that's our amazing little family right there. Love them all to death. We miss you, Peggy. This one came from my friend Honor, who I've talked a lot about. My friend Honor, who inspired Yellow and Yellow Day. Uh, she had this in her classroom and then when she retired her family gifted it to me So it's a collection of stamps that they released a long time ago with all book characters on them animals from books Very very cool 
I like it. In keeping with the theme of honor, th this one I just absolutely love. I found this at a store. It was the only one they had. I choose honor and one of my favorite superheroes on there because I'm a superhero Avenger geek. So there you go. This one my friend Chase made for me when he was in kindergarten. His mom and him made it. It's got my name, all the kids from the class that year, and then a bunch of things about teachers inside that little thing. One guy there absolutely Love it, so thank you, Chase. These next two pieces are two of my favorite pieces I have in this office space decorating it. Um, I got these from a, a custom artist, they're from an artist in Colorado. We met him at this uh, like farmer's market when we were out there over the summer. His name is Kevin Esslinger. I'm gonna show you right there. KevinEsslinger.com, you can find this really cool like dark artwork that he does. So this is Edgar Allan Poe, obviously, love that piece. And then I'm a huge Seuss fan, so I found this kind of evil looking Lorax that he made and he signed them and dated them for me. So those are hanging in my office now too. So that, that's that wall that I've had on all these videos behind you. I hope you like it. I'm super stoked with how it turned out. There are more pictures down there. Honor and our kindergarten teachers that we taught with. A book that my friend Quinn made me, a little quote. These are more of those things from my friend Xander. There's the amazing Mrs. Peterson in all her glory. She's at school right now. My uh, bachelor certificate. This came from my friend Sophia. And I absolutely love that quote, say yes to new adventures. Totally is me in a nutshell right now. And, and that's it, Let, let's talk, let's talk about this. So I, I said let's talk about that map right there and, and we're going to, I just don't know that today is what I wanna talk about it. Let's just say, whoa, there, that, that's better. Let's just say it has something to do with the whole make someone's day yellow and, and we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. That's gonna be an episode in itself, but that map turned out really cool. I just bought it online and then I mounted it to cork and I, I framed it and, and yeah, so that's kind of the centerpiece of this wall. Let's show you the whole wall. Okay, so one of the things that I announced recently and actually just launched yesterday on anchor.fm uh, is a podcast. I've been wanting to start a podcast for a while and we've got it launched. The first episode is with my friend Didi Wheels. You can find it on anchor.fm slash Adam Peterson Education or on the Anchor app, just search for my name. Awesome, awesome podcasting company and app. It's free to download. Go check it out. Thank you to everybody at Anchor for, for creating what you create. But I wanted to show you this space because this is where that's going to happen and all these videos I've been filming are happening. So we've got our, our mic set up for this podcast. We've got all our recording equipment. I got these new lights set up that are really, really bright right now, but I wanted to make this space bright for all of you. But this is where I'm going to be working. Now, with, with all that being said, there is a lot more that I haven't talked to you about yet in regards to this space because a lot of it's in packages back here or it's software that I want to show you. I've made some really awesome connections with some great companies that I want to share with you and those are kind of going to be, sorry, episodes in themselves. Let's get into why I titled this episode what I did. I titled it A New Space, New Challenges, and New Goals and, and there's a reason for that. This is the new space. This is where adampetersoneducation.com, on my way to school with Adam Peterson, the podcast, uh, teachers2.com, the YouTube channel, my books, the blog for Trish and I, anything that we do in regards to this education company, I guess, or this, this journey that we're on is going to be headed out of this office space. This is where I've been working for the last week while the kids are back at school. Um, and I'm super excited about it. I love this. So that's the new space. The new challenges are going to have to do with um, my work in itself. Like I want to challenge myself more this year than ever before as a teacher. And I know that sounds weird because I'm not in the classroom anymore, but I've challenged myself as a teacher for kids for the past 13 years. I've always tried to make myself better and do more than I did the year before or even the month before. And this year I want to challenge myself to do more for teachers as a teacher. So, so here's the challenge and it kind of goes the challenge and the goal hand in hand. My challenge is to, and this is huge, so it's, I'm, I'm really thinking whether or not I want to spit this out. My challenge is to start uploading videos to teacherslearn2.com daily. I, I know, daily, that's crazy. Like daily uploads to teacherslearn2.com on YouTube for all of you to watch. Now that's gonna be tough in some instances. So there are gonna be some, uh, like if I'm traveling, uh, well maybe I'll upload if I'm traveling, depends on Wi-Fi connection. Definitely if there's family things going on, family comes first, so there might be a day like that. I, I, when I say daily, I mean like five days a week, Monday through Friday, not Saturdays and Sundays, because that's definitely family time, unless I'm at an event for teachers. And then if I'm presenting all day long, it's gonna be really hard to upload unless I do something live. So these uploads daily, Monday through Friday, I'm gonna try to do five days a week uploads. It could be live, could be, recorded, edited episodes like this, I don't know. That's gonna be the challenge for myself. And I'm a huge guy that if you don't take challenges and try to meet those, then, then what's the point of doing any of this anyway? So that's my next challenge. 
to myself in, sense, in the sense that if I reach it, that'll be a goal that I reach. But my goal with all of this is to give all of you more. I've had a lot of teachers ask for things um, a video on this or a video on that or do you have ideas for this and that's kind of where this channel is going to go the ask share teach Facebook group is going to go the Adam Peterson education.com website is going to go the goal of all of that is to give more to you more to you to help do what you do on a daily basis that's why I took this leap of faith and I'm doing this as an educator on my own now is that I want to give more to teachers I want to give teachers the opportunity to see that what they're doing is amazing and maybe if they're looking for a little advice, I can help find that from some of the awesome people I've met and we can help make every classroom in this nation amazing. So there you go. That's episode one of what I'm going to call year three of this is kind of when I've been doing the vlog. We're going to call it lessons now, kind of in the teacher lingo. So lesson one of year three, that's it new space. I hope you love it. I do. I'm loving working down here. New challenges and then in relation to that, the new goal for all of you from me, the challenge to you and, and there you go. I hope you like the space and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. <music>